Welcome to Playwright, what's new in version 1.45. But first of all, tip of the day. To focus on network requests, you can double click an action in the actions panel. And this will focus the timeline on the time for that action and show only the network requests made during that time, making it easier to focus. To see all network requests, simply click on the show all button. Let's jump into the agenda. First of all, we have a new clock API where you can manipulate and control time within tests. We have select input files for uploading directories, control our Meta Plus S support for click and press and miscellaneous. First of all, let's look at how we can manipulate and control time within our tests with the clock API. We have a demo, let's jump straight in. So we have a website here with a clock in it. As you can see, it's 4 p.m. here and I wanna test this and make sure it's working. First, let's take a quick look at the HTML. We've got a function of start clock, and we're basically using set timeout to start the clock. And this is on the window load. We can test to see if the clock works. Let's start by testing fixed time. So we're using page.clock. With page.clock, Playwright has the ability to mock the clock and the passage of time. We can set a fixed time. The set fixed time method makes date.now and new date return fixed fake time at all times, but it keeps all the timers running. So we are basically saying that we want the time to be 10 o'clock in the morning. We go to our website with the clock on it and we get our element by the test ID of clock and expect it to have the text 10 a.m. Let's go and run that and see what happens. Our test has passed. And as I have show trace viewer selected in VS Code, I have a full trace of the test. In the trace, you can see I have my timer set for 10 o'clock and my assertion passes as the time is 10 o'clock. We can see down here in the log that the real time is actually 4 p.m., but my expected time is 10 a.m. and I received 10 o'clock, so I am modifying time. Now, what about manually advancing time? Let's look at the second test where we have page.clock, but this time we are using .install, which initializes. That means it installs fake implementations of time-related functions, such as date, set timeout, etc. Fake timers are used to manually control the flow of time so you can advance time, fire timers, and control the behavior of time-dependent functions. So basically, I want the time to be 8 o'clock. So I start the time at 8 o'clock, but I want the time to keep running. Then I go to my website that has the clock, and I want to pause at 10 o'clock. So at 10 o'clock, I want to test something for whatever reason, and I'll check that my clock is showing 10 o'clock. And then I'll fast forward by 30 minutes and check that the time is 10.30. So let's go ahead and run that, and let's look at the trace of our test. Our test has passed. We've initialized the clock and navigated to the page and it's eight o'clock. And that's what we started with. And then we use the pause at and we see 10 o'clock and we fast forward and we got to 10.30. Fantastic. Now, what about a website with a timer? So I have another website with a countdown. Five minutes, flash offer. We are pressurizing you here. We want you to purchase this. It could be five minutes or it could be that in a minute before the five minutes is up, a message comes up saying last minute to purchase. So we want to test those kind of things. So how do we do that? So first of all, let's take a quick look at the code for our timer. We basically have a start timer and the end timer is using date now. And basically, if the remaining time is less than or equal to zero, we want to show an offer expired message and we want to remove the countdown. And that's pretty much it. And this is on the window load. So every time the page loads, let's refresh this page and our five minute countdown starts again. So I want to go ahead and test something like this. I can basically test inactivity monitoring. So I start by initializing my clock by using clock.install. I go to the website with a timer on it and I expect the flash offer to be visible. And then I use clock.fastforward. So I'm fast forwarding time by five minutes. And I wanna make sure that the text of offer expired is visible. Let's go ahead and run that test and let's view our trace viewer. And as you can see, I call clock install, I go to the website and the countdown is starting at five minutes. I make sure the message of flash offer is visible and then I fast forward by five minutes and I have my offer expired. And that's it. That's how we can test a clock. So to recap, page.clock overrides native global classes and functions related to time such as date and set time out, allowing them to be manually controlled. In our test, we can call the page.clock and can use methods such as set fixed time to set the clock to a particular time. With the clock API, we can install fake implementations of time related functions. Fast forward, which jumps forward and fires timers once, pause at, which fast forwards and pauses the time, 
Resume to resume the timers. Run forward to advance the clock by X milliseconds and fire all timers within the interval. Set fixed time to make date.now a new date return a fixed fake time and set system time to set the current system time. Next up is set input files to which now has support for uploading directories. In our HTML, we add WebKit directory to our input type of file. And in our test, we use set input files and add our directory that we want to upload. Next, we have control or meta plus S for click and press. So when using locator.click or locator.press, you can now add in control or meta plus S. So basically control or meta, meta being the official name for the command key on Mac and S. For lots of other new features and options, check out our docs or GitHub for all release notes. And Playwright now supports Ubuntu 24.04. So to sum up, in Playwright 1.45, we have a new clock API to manipulate and control time, set input files for uploading directories, and controller meta plus S. And you can update Playwright with the command npm i-d at playwright slash test at latest. And of course, don't forget to read the docs, star us on GitHub, join our Discord server, and subscribe to this channel. And that's it. Thanks everyone, happy testing, and see you in the next release.